fixed it. There you go. What is up, gentlemen? This is a game number two from the Infinity B Team Open. We are blessed to have Mr. Morris, the Blue Terran in the top right at WCS Daybreak, made it to round two. Unbelievable. And in the bottom left-hand corner, we have our Orange Terran, Atlas. I am, of course, Goose, and I am joined tonight by my good friend, Nerz. Welcome, everyone. Oh yeah. So, we just got to see a great game by Atlas. He uh, did a 1-1-1 on Metropolis in a TVT. So, <laughs> always the jokester. But, uh, I wonder if we're going to see the same thing out of Atlas, or if we're going to see him change it up. Possibly. <coughs> ah! So, my freaking early game. There we go. Looks like Morris is going to throw down his Barretts first. Probably going to see a one Rax gasless fast expand. But I could be wrong. But that's, that's probably <laughs> Hi, Mom. Just saying. Well, hello, Mom. Well, gas for some Atlas. Same build. So, yeah, yeah. we might be seeing the 101 out of him again. Wonder if this time he will have the three in each geyser. Maybe, though, it's so optimized that it only requires five guys in geysers. But we will find out. Morse throwing down his second supply depot. Still no gas. We're probably going to see a command center following this up. I don't know. Morse has been having a lot of success on the ladder lately with something called the uh, Marine All In of some sort. Oh, is that the. Um, well, that's a follow up to a six, right? Uh, is it like, a six racks? I don't know what he's been doing. No, it's like you get one racks FE, I, if this is what he's talking about. And then you start just making marines and barracks. It's like six barracks, and you keep adding on barracks and marines with no gas off two bases. It's like really weird, but it's really good. Oh, he is going to expand. Well, it's good if not scouted. So, if scouted, there's things you can do to deal with it. Like everything in this game. Atlas again going for the scout. He's going to get a good sense of what's going on. With those two marines parked out front, though, he might not get in the base. And, uh, Let's see what he gets to see what's going on. Couple Marines, and he does spot the expansion. So with that expansion timing, hopefully he knows what's going on when we're at gases, because you can't have gas and have your expansion and two Marines all at that time in the game. So seeing the factory again, seeing the reactor being built, probably gonna swap them out for some aliens. And uh, oh, actually he only has two in that geyser, so maybe that is how we wanted to do it. It's actually really interesting. Because I don't think you do that twice in a row, you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess. And we see the start port, so yeah, we're going to see a 1 1 of him again. Again, the tech lab early. Doubt we're going to see the swap because he didn't last time and it's the exact same build, yeah. Yeah! Morris is adding on two more barracks. This is all like completely standard play. Um, solid standard macro play. But Morris. Has Morris scouted yet? Unfortunately, he, he did. did. No, unfortunately, he has not. So he, so, he has uh, no idea where his opponent is on this two base map. I don't know. Well, he's probably thinking he's at those destructible rocks <laughs> where Atlas told him. Oh no, that's where I would assume. But, uh. You know, unfortunately, he hasn't scouted a lack of an expansion and really isn't quite prepping how he needs to. Um, He's going to have three racks, though. Quite a few Marines. He will, but, I mean, if we, depending on the follow up, it could, you know, this could come out to hurt him if he doesn't scout this. Not sure if he. I mean, if we see, like, an engineering bay go down and, like, a factory, like, this might not turn out well. Uh, more supply supplies queued up. Does not want to be supply blocked. Yeah. Although, 
no add-ons yet. Still not pumping out Marines. So, saving up some gas. Wonder what it's for. Um, might be going for, uh, I don't know, might be transitioning to a couple factories. But no, you probably want to get factories already. If that is what you're going for. But, right, so Adding nice double reactor. Triple yeah, reactor. Double reactor. Wow. This is, going to, oh, this is tech labs. No. Oh, tech lab. Cool. Yeah. So I'll set him back for a few seconds. seconds. Yeah, unfortunately, Atlas and supply block began for a good deal of time. Oh, wait. Yes, just now starting the supply depot, so... Yeah, again, like we were saying last time, you know, he can't make units, and when you're doing a timing attack like this, you need those units at a specific point in the game. Uh, and he's just not going to have them. Although he's going to have Stim much earlier, right? Like, last time, it was closer to 9 30, right? That it finished. Yeah, it seems, like seems like he's got a better jump on it this time. This time. Yeah, maybe he was a little more warmed up. A little um, scan at the or, front. But That's he has a lot less units, right? Or no? Uh, he's, he's got actually two more Hellions than before. I didn't think the Marauders were with him last time, but I could be wrong. Although, uh, I'm not sure what he's waiting on right now because, again, every second that you wait is time that, you know, Morse has to make. Double Marines. Oh, he's expanding Vikings. behind this now before he's making the push. See, I don't know about that. I mean, I feel like if this attack is, he's already so behind economically that he's kind of hoping to do a ton of damage. Look at everything Morse has piled at the front. He's got quite a few, quite Marines. A few Marines. He's up to... He's up to... <laughs> I mean, he, do, he does have a, a huge supply advantage. And now the Hellions are dropping, Morse is reacting appropriately, pulling the Marines back, but still leaving the four in the bunker with two by to decide to, uh, to support if needed. He's gonna have to engage this right so he doesn't get roasted, and he is getting He's roasted. He's gonna need to bring the Marauders back, that's clutch. He's losing these Marines from there, not... Oh, Marauders dropped there. behind the Marines, wow! With the second medevac, that's what he was waiting for. Morse needs to pull these SCVs back, he definitely wants to be fighting the Hellions with the Marauders. If you, you gotta focus fire the low health one. And, uh, this is all those. Point work is not the right decision. You can wait. Uh, he has a little bit of time. Like, you can try to buy time to spawn units instead of, like, throwing what he has, you know? Marauder spawning and so Stim many is Marines almost done. Left. 10 seconds oh, out. He's gonna lose it, though. This is huge. Ah, I get roasted three seconds out. That is so brutal. Oh, he doesn't have Stim. That is big. I think Goose, uh, no, Morse might need Morse actually has a supply lead though. But he needs to kill the ones that are weak. Focus fire. There you go. There you go. Uh, he now he's got to be feeling to good. This up now. He's going to be able to clean this to up. That barracks, but, uh, that barracks is going to go down though. Still, let's see. Oh, that uh, medevac. Probably get cleaned up. Morse did okay. lose quite a bit in that engagement, though. Yes, but he does have a... Does he have a worker lead still? I want to say he does. Yeah, he has a pretty big worker lead. Still making two at a time. He's had that second orbital for longer. Uh, Alan is actually forgetting to make the orbital at his natural. He's making SCVs out of it instead, which is uh, not the right decision. Every second that he waits is energy that is not being uh, stored up for mules. So, I think Morse is going to have a very easy time transitioning out of this. Um, pumping out a lot of units. He has that Viking on patrol. Very well, take, take take a look at his unit count. He's up to 25 Marines at this time. He, look, he's taking a third. He's feeling comfortable. He's got his money. His macro's good. He's got a 10 supply lead, roughly. He's taking his third? Yeah, he's taking a third. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's building... Oh, yeah, the command thing. Right he queued it, he it up. Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> but, uh, Grabbing the, the refineries. Point. I mean, the supply is quickly going to snowball in his favor just because he has so much more production. Again, that's why I don't know why he built the uh, the command center so early. Or the, uh, yeah, the command center because, I mean, if you're doing an attack like that, that's pretty much all in. Uh, you probably would want to invest that money in units instead of, you know, it just doesn't seem uh, to synergize very well with like the theme of the build. If yeah. You're doing a huge attack at a very specific time. And then you build a command center. Look at the Look at 33 that. supply lead that Morse has. Holy crap. And most of that is probably in Marines. 32, 37 Marines, 41 workers. 
He is way ahead. Even two medevacs got the lead in that. I think Atlas getting a little bit scared and overreacting with the uh, missile turrets in the back. Definitely. Uh, that's not money he wants to be spending right now. Uh, he needs that for more production. Actually, probably needs that for economy right now. Morse actually and, building uh, up quite a bit of money. I mean, he did lose that one barracks, which did hurt him a bit. Mass producing marines and medevacs. I'd like to see him scan so he can see what his opponent has. He hasn't even looked. Doesn't even yeah, care. Morris hasn't even ventured to the other side of the map. He's pretty much playing blind. But um, I don't know if his choice in units is the best right now. Upgrade. Uh, Alice already getting siege tanks out. He's got uh, upgrades Mor finishing up though. Alice finishing up his plus one. However, Alice is only working on. Oh, he is working on two either. It's my bad. I think Morse is only on one then, right? Yeah, Morris only having on one, one engineering bay. That's uh, right now he's gonna definitely want two because he has the economy for it. And uh, he's Morris is moving out with his army. Probably gonna try to take a little bit of map control. Um, well, he already pretty much has full map control. I just hope I just he doesn't try and drop. <laughs> well, I mean, look at all those turrets, man. Uh, he's four turrets now. All right, he added another. Or maybe I just didn't see and it. And he can't really, can't really approach the front. front. Yeah, with the two siege tanks and that kind of choke is you know, it's not going to be a good position. Yeah, it looks like he's... Oh, I hope for, hopefully he pokes him with the Viking first. He looks like he's going to try to load up and do a little doom drop in the back. He or might be able to get away with it, but he's going to have to get all his units on the ground before anything goes down. Little doom drop. I don't Look, know There's a scan. That scan is not going to see any of the turrets. So, but he does see the three bunkers with units. Oh, and this a counter scan. Well, Very yeah, nice. He's probably, he's probably wondering what's going on. Oh, he sees the missile turrets and pulls back at the right time. He doesn't even get a shot off. Very nice. Looking at the Union counter station, it looks like there's actually no Vikings on the map for Atlas, which means that the air air is all uh. All Morrison with five Vikings on the map. I'm not sure how Atlas can afford all these scans. He's not been able to mule very much. That's true, especially with the very late orbital at the natural, which means that uh, he's going to have wanted to use that energy. Morse got his third up and running, making tons, making tons of Marines. Of five at a time. And two Marauders. And three SCVs yeah. at a time. Unfortunately, one of Goose's... Um, Morse's Vikings is in his mineral line. That's me, even though he already has one on patrol. So he's probably going to want to get that with his army to snipe the medevacs and to spot for his uh, his siege tanks. Looks like he's repositioning towards the front. He's got enough to beat this, but not in a straight up fight with these tanks. Wait. Morse only has one siege tank. And I don't think he has siege mode. I think it was just a. Uh, Atlas, Atlas was just a precaution. There. Checking the third. Very nice. Very good. He sees no third. He he probably knows like he's got a pretty big lead on him now. He's seen the army. And he sees the three siege tanks up on the high ground with those Vikings. Like I'm saying, um, Atlas really doesn't have anything he can do about that. So Marshall's just gonna get great information off those Vikings. Um, he can bring the Marines out front, but I don't think he wants to risk it. <laughs> oh, those Marines are a little too and close. Thors, to the really? really? Oh well, yeah, Thors are definitely <coughs> not what you want. With this, Morse bringing an SCV along. Maybe he's Morse can engage away from the tanks. Are, is he out of range of these tanks? Not a bad concave. The tanks can only can shoot a little bit. Uh, they repositioning that repositioning kind of hurt a little bit. Because they were shooting the things coming up the ramp, which uh, was not very good. Oh no, the Thor is picking up the Vikings. Got that one medevac though. <laughs> Morse is definitely. Oh man, he's building up a huge bank. Needs to spend that money. He's got a bunch of Marines and Marauders stuck at the back of his base, too. <clears throat> Build more Build barracks, Morsi. Yeah, Morsi needs to dump that money on a ton of barracks or factories or starboards or something. But he needs to, like, allow himself to spend that money at the rate at which he will be mining. And he should probably take a fourth. Or a fifth. And a sixth. <laughs> because... He has all the map control. Um, that little pack of marines up at the top is going to spot, you know, any drops coming out th through there. He has a meta. Mm, I'm 
trust him. Medivac to spot the third, but he has vision of the third. He sees no third coming down yet. Spot or at least fourth. flying down. I mean, luckily Atlas is uh, not mined out his base because he's been spending all his energy on scans instead of mules. Mine out his or, main uh, though. Well, yeah, pretty much, but not as that though. I mean, as you can see, Morris is definitely much more mined out in his main and that than, uh, you know, Atlas is natural. I think this is smart. Taking down the rocks, um, he has the mobile army, especially with Atlas having the tanks. Oh yeah, bio versus mech. You're gonna want to have bigger surface area, get better spreads, and uh, not have your yeah. If you had the marines coming up that little one fourth field wide choke, uh, he would have just gotten crushed. A couple of Atlas marines wandering around checking things out. It's good. He's checking maybe for hidden expansions. Um, Metavacs, poking through, you know, various things. But, uh, alright, so Morse is taking that base down. He is taking his fit as his main will be mining out very shortly. He'll probably transfer some workers already. Swinging around to take the third there. again. Very nice. Very nice. Morse needs to get an add on one of his factories. Oh, but, uh, his units are being attacked and he's not. There we go. Unfortunately, Morse is a, kind of a, a big chunk of supply just like sitting in his base. Um, and especially, uh, uh, no, hasn't seen it quite Lots yet. Lots of marines Lots and marines marauders, sitting, marauders over sitting over there. Yeah, that's a big chunk, you know. <clears throat> and here comes a move out from Atlas. 153 supply to 200 of Morse. If you take a look at the units tab, uh, they are near even in SCVs. Morse pulling his units one back. One. A little bit of a a little stim on those units just to get them back in time. Well, and coming in from coming two in. angles, oh, unseaged. Uh, it doesn't have too much behind, but uh, where are the siege tanks from Atlas? Are they in there or no? No concave. Atlas seems to have the upgrades 2-2 two, two to what? Morse is 1-0, and that's going to be the death of him. And unfortunately, all those uh, medevacs <laughs> got picked off by the, uh, the units as they flew back over. By the Thors. However, Morse does have the production. He is making much more units at a time. And um, with them being in tight supply in supply right now, if Morse can just stock up as he moves across he that just floor, needs to pump out a ton of units. He probably should just sack that third that he took, which is his fourth, but the one that he took is the third. Fly that um, orbital back into safety. Well, he probably should dump the mules first because he might lose it. But uh, I think if he sieges up on this high ground, he does kill the third of his opponent or force a cancel. I didn't see whether or not it was killed or forced. Yeah, I can't siege tell tank on the high can. ground. Oh, Three more rolling in. That champ choke and the siege tank sieging up in the back are probably going to be able to do a lot of damage. But is it enough? They go down quickly, and Alice is stepping into his opponent. Force just now down in the supply cab. SCVs being pulled. Sending in on the attack. And there's a lot of Morse army still just sitting in the base. Yeah, ho hopefully, if he. Uh, uh, I mean, he does not have that big. Uh, Atlas does not have that big of an army, and he's not really been macroing that well behind this. Uh, pulling a lot of money, a lot of idle production structures. Actually, he's taking the production tab right now. So it's almost like this is what. You know, what you see is what you get from, from Atlas, but Morse is still working on that. On that and a GG from Morse. Oh, 